Welcome back for part three, you beautiful people. I would say in parts one and two, we did a pretty good job of covering our old man primal brain in good detail. The driver of your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. So where does this so-called modern brain come in at? Is it the police officer that pulls the old man over for driving erratically? Not quite. But before we dive into that, I obviously need to do my introduction. So my name is Dr. Dan. I am a pharmacist turned weight management specialist, and I really need you guys to hit the subscribe button down below. So one, you don't miss another episode as I put it out in this multi-part series, but also because, you know, my entire self-esteem and self-worth is predicated on how many subscribers, likes, views, etc. that I get on each and every single video. And if you already haven't done so, check out my other channels at the official Dr. Dan. We're on Instagram, TikTok are kind of the two major ones where I post content every single day. All right, let's get back to the program here. So I like to think of the modern brain kind of like a teenager that's riding shotgun to the old man, but is also texting at the same time. And in typical teenager fashion, they think they know everything and they think they're pretty dope, as the kids in my generation would say. Similarly, our modern brain likes to give us the idea that it is in full control of every single one of our decisions and behaviors that we make on a day-to-day -day basis. It's continuously making calculated and logical decisions for our life without the interference of emotions, feelings, or biases. All the while telling you how the brain is the most incredible and complex organ in the human body. And I'm just going to throw this out there, but common traits of narcissists is that they always feel like they are in control and think they are pretty amazing. Just saying. Anywho, the modern brain, the prefrontal cortex, or our executive functioning is sometimes how it is regarded, is the part of our brain that really separates us from the animals. Animals still have a prefrontal cortex, it's just the prefrontal cortex in humans is considerably more developed, at least in, at least in most humans. You see, our modern brain allows us to plan ahead, to organize our day, meal prep, go grocery shopping, go to work, etc., etc. Certainly all very important things, and we wouldn't have the modern civilization that we do without it. Now, it's not that the modern brain has zero control over our old man primal brain. It can actually exert a considerable amount of control in certain situations. Now, this is more of semantics than anything else, but I would say that the modern brain really doesn't control per se, but it can strongly influence the primal brain. And so it is with this influence that we are able to endure hard and painful things such as choosing the apple over the apple pie, listening to politicians speak, and depending on how much you like my videos, sitting here and listening to my video. You're doing all of these things voluntarily. And if you remember, the primal brain is wired to only seek out pleasure and to avoid pain. Therefore, if it had its way, it would never endure the above. It would instead be crushing apple pies, watching porn instead of my video, and probably drinking alcohol or some other illicit substance. Now, in order to influence the old man, the teenager can do a couple of things. Number one, they can aggressively grab the steering wheel away from the old man and steer the car in the direction they want to go. Or the teenager can learn as to what makes grandpa happy or maybe even a way to lull grandpa to sleep so that they can ultimately get the wheel of the car and go in the direction they want to go. In the first case, I want you to think about the times that you've gone on the latest diet craze. You were able to eat the foods, cut out the carbs, drink fairy dust, or whatever mystical product your friend Susan recommended for you to lose weight. And you were very likely successful in losing weight. However, eventually you fell off the wagon and gained the weight back. You see, what happened in this case is the teenager was able to aggressively grab the wheel from the old man for a period of time. However, the old man was eventually able to get his cane out and beat the teenager back ultimately getting control of the car again and steering you toward your old patterns and behaviors because all the crap you were doing over there was not pleasurable and enjoyable. Now, before you send me an angry email, please remember that this was an analogy and no teenagers or senior individuals were actually harmed. In the second circumstance, though, the teenager finds a way to align the wants and feelings of the old man primal brain with that of their own. The old man then allows the teenager to start steering the wheel. However, if that balance is lost, which usually occurs due to stressors or some external pressures of some kind, that old man is going to take control of that car again and drive you guys to Mexico. But with practice, strategies, and learning how to sit with our emotions, that teenager can get pretty good at managing those stressors in order to keep that old man happy for a majority of the time. Now, before we jump into the influencing and how we sedate the old man primal brain, there's a couple of things you need to know about the modern brain first. Number one, it's lazy. 
And number two, it gets tired very quickly. I told you, it's kind of like a teenager. Or perhaps that 20-something year old that is currently laying on your couch, eating all of your food, unemployed, and cutting into your plans for retirement. At least you both now have something more in common, perhaps? Now, do you remember how I said this was going to be like a six-part series? Yeah, my teenage brain is feeling a bit rebellious right now. Mostly it's just tired and lazy. So I'm going to have to make you wait until part four before I jump into what exactly I mean by the modern brain being a lazy turd that you no longer want to be around. So stay tuned, and of course, hit the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss the next episode that's coming out. Check me out on my other channels, at the official Dr. Dan. We're on Instagram and TikTok, where I post daily content. As well, check out my website, healthcareevolve.ca, where we can support you in your weight management journey. And please always remember that small tweaks lead to massive peaks.